so dear friends uh, dear students uh, uh, let let me have uh, uh, let me have uh, let me start with now magnetic quantum number and uh, and we have already discussed uh, uh, principal quantum number and and orbital quantum number and now in this video uh, uh, i'll be talking about this uh, this magnetic quantum number and uh, this magnetic quantum number uh, basically is a result of uh, quantization of uh, angular momentum direction so so we have here quanti quantization of angular angular momentum and this uh, orbital angular momentum what it does is basically it determines uh, it determines the, the the magnitude of uh, uh, l uh, magnitude of angular momentum of the electron uh, and uh, the, the angular momentum uh, 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 unlike angular momentum if we talk about linear momentum linear momentum a, uh, is a vector quantity uh, and we can describe it completely uh, uh, by means of its direction yeah. and and we can specify we can have the specified uh, uh, direction and magnitude of uh, this uh, angular momentum and what we have is, is a simple thing that 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 uh, if i define angular momentum is r cross p so it's always perpendicular. So, so, so the thumb rule is 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 enough to to explain the direction of this angular momentum, which is perpendicular to the plane of uh, uh, r cross p. And uh, so, so to say something like this. Okay. So my thumb will uh, be in the direction of angular momentum, and the plane of r and p uh, will will be. Uh, the, the the direction of of the fingers uh, uh, that that I have now uh, uh, so uh, uh, so to say uh, uh, what possible significance can uh, can a direction in the space have uh, for hydrogen atom it is an is an Im Im imperative question that, that, that what will be the direction of uh, the uh, this uh, this angular momentum and uh, to be certain about it uh, what we reflect is that an electron uh, that that's re revolving about the nucleus if we have a nucleus and we have an electron uh, uh, revolving uh, uh, revolving um, uh, about a, a nucleus this this revolving electron is is equivalent to to a current loop that's a very fundamental thing. So, it's a minute current loop and has uh, it has magnetic field uh, like that of a magnetic dipole. Uh, uh, th th that's that that's sure. Since, hence, an atomic electron uh, that that we are talking about it possesses angular momentum, and this angular momentum that it possesses it interacts with it interacts with external magnetic field it it interacts with external magnetic field say b and uh, and and the magnetic quantum number uh, it's the, it's a magnetic quantum number that uh, uh, that specifies uh, the direction of l that specifies the direction of this uh, this angular momentum uh, by, by simply determining the, the component of this uh, angular momentum vector uh, in the field direction. Now this phenomenon is offered uh, uh, ref, uh, def, uh, referred as as space quantization. Space quantization. So if we let the magnetic field be in the direction of uh, uh, or, or be parallel to, to the z-axis. Okay, if the magnetic field is 
uh, along the di direction of z-axis, the component of L in this direction uh, that, that, that we can write is, so what we have is, uh, uh, we, ha we are applying magnetic field uh, in the direction of, uh, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the z direction in the z-axis of the component of original angular momentum L. So we will have that LZ uh, will be MLH cross. Okay, so, but this ML, as we know from uh, from, from solution of uh, uh, Schrodinger's wave equation on hydrogen atom, this ML can have, uh, can have values like zero, plus, minus one, plus minus two uh, and so on so forth to plus minus L. This should be the case and and the possible values that we have here uh, for the given value of L uh, they, they, they range from uh, they, they range from from plus L via zero to to minus L. So that the, the, the number of possible orientations uh, of the angular momentum vector that we have L here uh, in the magnetic field direction uh, is simply equal to 2L plus 1. This will be the set of, uh, 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 set of orientations for, for the angular momentum uh, uh, in terms of uh, magnetic quantum number. Now if I assume that L is equal to 0 then uh, this LZ can, uh, it, it can only have the single value of, uh, of zero. And when this L is equal to one, if I, if I take this L equal to one, now uh, it can have the values from minus H cross, zero and, and plus H cross. And if I take this L equal to two, then, then it will have uh, probably five values. This LZ will have, uh, it may be 2h cross uh, h cross then 0 then minus uh, h cross or it can be minus 2h cross and 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 this will automatically uh, lead to the to the space quantization of orbital uh, angular momentum of this uh, uh, orbital angular momentum of hydrogen atom that we are talking about so, uh, so to say that if I have to reveal this uh, uh, space quantization of uh, orbital, uh, uh, this uh, space quantization of this orbital angular momentum, uh, what we have is orbital quantum number. Uh, suppose that's equal to for that L is equal to two, and and we have written down uh, the the two L plus one values for M L. Uh, and and we have written down them here as as two h cross h cross zero minus h cross and minus two h cross. So so if I have to interpret these uh, these things geometrically, suppose this is uh, this is zero, this is h cross, and and this is two h cross, and here I have minus h cross, and here I have minus two h cross. And the orientations that 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 that, that we can show for uh, say uh, they they'll originate from here. So so to say, uh, so this is one orientation for uh, for having two h cross. Then we will have uh, have another orientation for for h cross, and then we will have another orientation for zero. Then we will have another orientation for minus h cross, and then we will have another orientation for uh, for uh, for minus two h cross. So I should I should be in a position to uh, to to write down here. This m l will will refer to two here. Here m l will refer to one. Here m l will refer to zero. Here ML will refer to minus one, and here ML will refer to minus two. So if we calculate L for it, so that will be under root of L times L plus one, then we will have H cross. So for L is equal to two, uh, what we will have is uh, uh, 
uh, what we will have is 2 plus 3 will uh, 2 plus 1 will give us 3 times 2 this is under root of 6 h cross okay so what do we see here we have we have five possible values of magnetic quantum number uh, uh, and uh, magnetic quantum number that's specified by ml uh, with each value corresponding to to a different orientation so so there are orientations uh, involved in it so so to say uh, that that every magnetic quantum number that we have here uh, they have a different orientation orientation with respect to uh, to lz so this is my my z direction and this is my lz so so to say uh, uh, what i'm trying to say is that that in an atom with certain values of ml it will it will assume the corresponding orientation of its its angular momentum relative to an external magnetic field i mean if if it finds itself in such a field we 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 understand that 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 l can never be aligned exactly in the same direction of of magnetic field uh, it cannot be exactly parallel or anti parallel to to the magnetic field uh, because uh, because this lz is is always smaller than the magnitude of l times l plus 1 h cross of the total angular momentum that we have and uh, certainly in absence of external magnetic field uh, the the direction of the z axis uh, uh, which is or arbitrarily chosen uh, what must be true is that the, the the component of l in any direction we choose uh, 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 is ml h cross in absence of the magnetic field uh, and 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 when when an external magnetic field uh, is applied what it does it provides an experimentally meaningful reference for for the direction uh, that's involved in it and a magnetic field is not only such a reference direction possible uh, say say for example a line between two hydrogen atoms uh, in a hydrogen uh, molecule is just uh, as experimentally meaningful as the direction of magnetic field and that should be the point that uh, that I, I'm trying to link out here now uh, to, to proceed from here this space quantization if we can uh, if we can think about it if we can uh, we can think about this space quantization in terms of uncertainty principle and uh, and why is it that 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 only one component of l uh, is quantized why is only one component of L quantized? And in order to relate this fact uh, uh, to, 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 to a projection, uh, to a projection where we have uh, LZ, uh, say we have LZ and, and, and we have total angular momentum, say L, and and this l is under root of l times l plus one and and this is the this is this uh, direction let, let let us assume that this is uh, this is m it says m l h cross and this is the the, the z direction and the the uncertainty principle uh, would be violated uh, I, I mean it will be violated if l were fixed in this space this L that we are talking about, if this L is is fixed in this space, so that Lx and Ly, as well as the Lz, the components of this angular momentum, had definite value, and the electron would be confined to a definite plane. Uh, in such a case, for instance, if we talk about if L uh, were in in z direction let us assume that this angular momentum was uh, along z direction the electron would have to be in x y plane at all times and uh, it has to ha it has to be uh, in that in that plane that 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 we can think about uh, all times and this can occur only uh, if the electron's momentum component uh, in that x y plane say say pz 
in the in, in the z direction is infinitely uncertain it should be infinitely uncertain And uh, this is uh, this is absolutely uh, impossible uh, to have a definite orbit uh, for an electron where it can it can roam around in a plane uh, so that uh, we will have uh, uh, in infinite uncertainty in the measurement of its momentum along the z direction. And and if it is uh, it if it is to be the part of the hydrogen atom, it it has to. Uh, it it has not to behave the the way we are expecting uh, it to behave and since the the reality uh, the, the reality the, there is only one component for for angular momentum uh, that we choose as lz uh, the electron is not limited to a single plane uh, thus, there, there, there is there is a built-in uncertainty. There is an uncertainty that's in built uh, in the electrons uh, z coordinate that 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 we have been talking about uh, uh, in the direction of l uh, is not fixed. And hence, what should I say is that so so what we have is the average value of we have average values of Lx uh, and Ly uh, and, and their average values that, that we have uh, that simply equal to zero and, uh, and uh, uh, although uh, this uh, the, the component of angular momentum along CERN uh, has always the, the specific value and that value is MLH cross. So this is the case uh, where, with, with the magnetic quantum number uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, which, 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 which spontaneously comes out by solving uh, Schrodinger's wave equation and at 